Hi. <laughs> All right. I was too busy looking at this lighting. The lighting at this time is so amazing. Anyway, so I am here for my UFC 251 recap video. I made five picks and I got four out of five. So it was a good night for me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. This was an incredible event. It had three titles on this card. It was the first fight on Fight Island, and everything pretty much went off without a hitch. They had a lot of spectators there. Uh, they weren't really spectators. They were all tested, so they're trying to see if maybe the next event might be in New Zealand or Australia, where they might actually have fans, because apparently they're doing rugby events that have fans. So we'll see how this next event go when it goes. Excuse me. But this one went great so let's go ahead and get into it the main card that is first up I choose uh, I'm so excited I can't even talk okay so I chose Amanda Hebus because this is Hebus and not Rebus <laughs> to beat Paige Van Zandt and she did I thought she would finish her in the second round but she actually finished her in the first like the first two minutes they kind of felt each other and really they didn't feel, feel each other out she wrapped her up in a judo throw <laughs> onto the ground got on top and as Paige was trying to scramble she caught that arm then she went belly down tap tap again I, this girl this I think this girl got it she's a beast and if you look at her pedigree with her dad and everything I think this she is one to watch for sure next up um i chose oh i got this one too i chose rose nama Yunus, the former strawway champion rose nama Yunus, to beat jessica andrage and she did this was a decision was it, i believe it was a split decision in favor of rose i do agree she basically did just enough she got those first two rounds where she outscored her she was first she controlled the pace a bit more she landed a bit cleaner shots but in that third round it was all amanda uh she of course she had her moments it wasn't a two pound two point victory round for Jessica but it was definitely her round she busted her up her eye and her nose she was uh landing the cleaner shots she was pushing her back and pushing the pace so again split decision in favor of Rose Nama Yunus who would you like to see her fight next and also for Rebus she's a straw away as well Amanda Rebus who would you like to see her fight next as well now on to the first of the three title fights now I told y'all that I should pick Petra Yan but that my heart was picking Jose Aldo. And new UFC Bantamweight champion, Mr. Peta Yan. <laughs> so that lets you know I should have went with my head and not my heart. Uh, although it was competitive for about the first three rounds. The first round went to Petor. He just kind of started first, landing cleaner shots, controlling the pace more. But then Jose came back and won the second round. So he was like, you know what, we're in a fight here. Third round, though, is where we saw Petor kind of start to the tides start to go in his favor but still not quite we're going to see how this fourth round went fourth round went ended with him on top of jose on the ground beating him down and jose was kind of saved by the bell then fifth round more of the same until eventually the ref stopped the fight tko a great stoppage he beat jose bloody bloody all over his shorts bloody all over the the octagon yeah great stoppage from the ref people are saying you know jose maybe it's time for you to quit i i, I I don't know. I hate to tell people that it's time for them to go, especially when they are still competitive. So what do you think Jose Aldo should do next after this? He was probably thrown into this fight too early anyway. Maybe he should have got hit a few more fights in the Bantamweight division. So what do you think should be next for the legend that is Jose Aldo? And of course, who do you think uh, Petr Jan, the new champion, should fight next? I think we are all agree that it should be Aljamain Sterling. But if you have someone else, tell me who and why. Now, next up co-main event and i got this pick i chose um alex the ufc let me start this all over again i'm just so excited y'all can't get this straight and still the ufc featherweight champion mr alexander volkanovsky he successfully defeated his or uh, defended his belt against max blessed holloway the man he took the belt from we have some controversy let's go ahead and get into this so the first two rounds were clearly a max holloway victory he was controlling the pace he landed more he landed cleaner shots you could tell you could he also landed some kicks he was checking the kicks he didn't just let alexander chop away at that leg like he did the first fight so he kind of changed it up there and it worked he won the first two round clearly the third round of course is the one that we're debating it was very very close and even on the stats uh max only landed like two shots more than alexander volkanovsky oh also 
in those first two rounds, Max dropped Alexander as well. Dropped him once with the head kick and dropped him with the hands as well. It was a, a right hook clean on the chin on the inside. Dropped him as well. So again, first two rounds, clearly Max Holloway. Third round, that's the round. Uh, someone let me know. I don't believe that's the round he got the first takedown in. I don't believe. If so, that's the round where he got the takedown and Max popped back up. He wasn't able to do anything with the takedown. Um, but you know that a lot of uh, judges give a takedown so many points even if you don't actually do anything with it if the guy pops back up so who knows there it is subjective but the third round is the round that was basically so close too close to call fourth and fifth alexander volkanovsky not only did he get some takedowns but he actually won on the feet he actually landed more shots on the feet he was controlling the pace he was going for it he was landing the cleaner shots so fourth and fifth i believe went to alexander volkanovsky the fifth one was close as well in fact one of the judges actually had max holloway winning that fifth round and that's all even in the comments a couple of people thinking that he won that fifth round so the fifth round was close as well but i don't mind giving that fourth and fifth to volkanovsky to me the third round is the closest round so do i agree with the decision split decision in favor of alexander volkanovsky yes i do and as I said on Instagram when I made my little 15 second or minute, one minute prediction, I said I'm picking Alexander, but I'm rooting for Max. And I was rooting for Max. But hey, I have to be consistent. I am one of those people who feels that there should be a champion's edge. I am one of those people who feels like close fights do go to the champion. And the simple fact that you have a lot of folks saying that this was a draw, that the third round was too close to call, that the fifth round was debatable, to me, a close fight like that, the belt stays home. Um, Alexander Volkanovsky thinks he won the third, fifth, and, and third, fifth, and sixth. Third, fourth, and sixth. I was so excited, I forgot how to count, y'all. <laughs> Alexander feels he won the last three rounds. Again, I did think Max won the first three rounds. However, I was nervous. In fact, the people I was watching it with, I said, y'all, the judges are iffy, and Alexander already has the belt. I said that exact same thing. And there it goes. And I have to be consistent. I said the same thing when DJ lost to uh, Henry Cejudo. It was too close to call. Not actually, not even too close to call. DJ won that fight. But I, I've been consistent. I've been consistent with John Jones. Close fights go in favor of the champ. Uh, so again, I have to be consistent. So I agree with the decision. It was that close. It was that close. So where do we go from here? Dana White feels Max Holloway won the fight, okay? The post-press conference, most fighters feel he wants the fight. The 25 officially recognized MMA outlets, all of them think he won the fight. So, it, you know, people think he won the fight. He is a well-liked fighter by the organization and by other fighters. So what should happen? Should there be an immediate third fight, another rematch, when Max lost the first two? Technically, I know it's technically. I'm so excited to go myself but he still lost so I think Max should have another fight I think someone else should get a shot at Alexander and then if Max wins his next fight or maybe even two get him another title shot but I don't want to see another immediate rematch and I love Max Holloway but those are my feelings you let me know first how you felt if you agree with the decision why if you don't why if you thought it was a clear victory for Max why and what should happen from here so now finally main events and i got this pick as well and still the ufc welterweight champion mr kumaru the nigerian nightmare Usman. He successfully defended his belt against Jorge Masvidal, Mr. BMF himself, Mr. Latin Jesus himself, Mr. Six Days Notice, 20 pounds himself. Yeah, he got his butt whooped, y'all. He got his butt whooped. Whooped! I mean, he uh, the first, like, minute or so in the first round <laughs> was, like, competitive when he tried to kind of sprint a little bit and tried to kind of get a quick knockout. But um, Usman kept his hands up, got in, was able to do enough boxing to open up the wrestling, was able to take him down, was able to wear him out. Really, by the second round, you could tell Jorge was already losing some steam there. And it just got worse as it went on. The takedowns became easier. One of them was so slow, he, like, just reached for the leg and grabbed it. It was so slow. <laughs> we were cracking up. So as the fight got on, went on, the easier it was for Usman. So uh, he even said he'll give Jorge another shot off of a real camp. I don't think that should happen next. 
I think Gilbert Burns should be next. So you guys let me know how that should go. Um, again, we all knew Jorge had this little built-in excuse with the six days already. Um, you, I didn't think the fight was that boring. I actually thought we saw some improvement from Usman. He had, his jab is actually looking better and better. You can tell that he's working on that. So I, I thought it was a good fight. I didn't think it was as boring because it went the way I thought it was gonna go. You know what I mean? So yeah, let me know how you did on all of your picks. Let me know, of course, about the, all the title shots and who should be next. Let me know about the controversy of the of the Alexander Volkanovsky fight, the main event, how that should go. Let me know how you did on all of that. Let me know what you think about Fight Island. If you watch that video, like I said, where they show the racetrack and like it's basically like an adult um, playground and the hotel they're staying and they had two million people there all tested, basically staff. So let me know how you felt about the entire extravaganza, of course, and uh, injury, injury updates, of course. So follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where I do have updates and a little extra material. Had my first uh, boxing section session myself earlier today from my cousin who is the amateur San Jose heavyweight champion. Check that out on my Instagram. Oh, serious work. I'll <laughs> work in muscles that I've never worked before. And um, yeah, follow me on uh, Snapchat, subscribe, like, talk to me, take care. Goodbye.